Welcome to the video series on research methods and analysis by data and research. In this video, we will discuss the philosophical concerns in research. Research enhances knowledge. For human beings, knowledge is a way to survive. Philosophical concerns of the research discuss the source, nature, and development of knowledge. The philosophical concerns of research have their roots in ontology. Ontology refers to the reality of the social world. Epistemology is concerned with the ways of knowing and learning social reality. A researcher who realizes the existence of reality will be motivated to know and learn more about it. The first search of the researcher will be on the available literature. The next search will be on the methodology that may be used to know and learn more about the reality. From various possible methodologies, one method could be adopted. A fit method opens the doors to the right data source. Excellent data provides more information that reveals more about the reality. Among these, ontology, epistemology, and methodology are the three major components of a scientific paradigm. A paradigm is a worldview. Paradigms answer three questions that we usually have. Question number one, what is the nature of the world? Question number two, what is an individual's place in it? And question number three, what are the possible relationships between the world and its parts? To have a clear understanding of these philosophical concerns, we will first look at different types of epistemology. One of the most common epistemology or one of the most common ways to know the reality we use in social science research is the way of post-positivism. The underlying reason behind using this way is the basic assumption that there is one and only one reality. According to post-positivism, even though we cannot see this reality completely, we can quantify its present by taking measurements of its available dimensions. If we are using this way to learn the reality, our methodological approach will be quantitative. If we are using positivism, then our assumption about the reality is different. According to positivism, there is only one reality and it can be learned entirely if there is a sufficient and adequate tool. This contrasts with the assumptions behind post-positivism as post-positivism strongly argues that complete learning of the reality is impossible. Both Positivism and post-positivism are similar in the condition that reality can be observed objectively. If we are using this way to learn the reality, we may be using an empirical approach in conducting the research. If we are using the way of pragmatism, we are standing in a position to say that reality is neither completely objective nor completely subjective. So if we want to learn the reality, we have to give importance to the objectivity of the reality and the subjective experience of the individuals about the reality. Researchers who are in search of the reality in a pluralistic environment will be choosing pragmatism as their way of learning about the reality. These researchers may be using a mixed method in their research. Another way of search for knowledge generally adopted by social scientists is interpretivism. These scientists believe that social reality can only be understood from its interpretation by the individuals who experience it. Individuals are smart in interpreting their experiences about any phenomena. Researchers in the, this philosophical position will give importance to the qualitative approach while conducting their research. For them, the reality is subjective. Each individual has her or his own reality. There are other ways to search knowledge. 
<coughs> However, social science researchers may adopt these ways very rarely. One is participatory. According to this approach, reality can only be understood through the participation of the human mind with the world. Another one is postmodernist epistemology. This is also not the usual way for a social scientist. In the observation of postmodernist, reality lies in the experience of each individual. We can understand an individual's reality only if we are in that individual's position or circumstance. We can represent each of these positions as a continuum. The assumption of a researcher about the reality are ontology. If the researcher thinks that there is only one reality and it can be wholly studied objectively, then she or he is in the positivistic position. If the researcher thinks that there is only one reality but it can never be fully studied and whatever that can be learned can be done quantitatively, then she or he practices post-positivistic epistemology. If the researcher thinks that reality can never be fully studied objectively and to understand reality su subjective experiences also have to be considered then she or he practices pragmatism. If the researcher thinks that reality is a realm of symbolic discourse or the reality is a social construction or the reality is a projection of human imagination then the researcher is in interpretivistic position. Ontology can also be represented as a continuum that extends from realism to relativism. In short, ontological position may extend from realism to relativism and epistemological assumption may extend from the idea that reality can be understood objectively to the idea that reality can only be understood through subjective experiences. If you have any questions, suggestions, recommendations, please write to dnr365 at gmail.com.